You support the death penalty, according to my note. Isn't it largely Republican? I don't, yeah. You might not have birthed the idea, I but... So. I mean, I have a lot of ideas that you might consider conservative. But I feel like on that, I'm just consistent, like the Pope is consistent. The Pope is consistently pro-life. I'm consistently pro-death. I'm, I'm for the death penalty, although I do believe in more DNA testing. I, my motto is, let's kill the right people. I'm pro-choice. I'm for assisted suicide. I'm for regular suicide. I'm for whatever gets the freeway moving. That's okay. what I'm for. All right, wait, wait. It's too crowded. So the planet is too crowded, and we need to promote death. When I look at the Venn diagram of people who are pro-death penalty and pro-choice, I don't think they intersect. You may be the lone person in the world at that intersection. Absolutely not. I've met plenty of people who have the same feelings. Pro-choice uh, and... Yeah, I mean, well, pro... I mean, you know, I'm not randomly going around in the street saying, hey, we're going to kill you. I mean, we're talking about people who've earned it. But as I say, you know... Kill the right people. Uh, kill the right people. But I, I'm just not one of those people who thinks all life is precious, you know? I, I bet you a lot of people wouldn't say that, but if you're pro-choice... Maybe that's really what you're thinking anyway. I mean, this is the big controversy that Rick Santorum brought up. He does not like prenatal testing because he says that leads to abortion because people find out that they're going to have a child who is not normal in some way and they have an abortion because they don't want to raise a child with severe challenges. I don't think there's anything wrong with that to not bring someone in the world whose life is going to be so miserable in so many ways and so severely compromised. I mean, it's not that hard to create life. It's teeming everywhere. It's something a dog can do.